is a weekend. Everybody's going to the beach. So we're going to Nikki Beach later. Yeah. Okay. You were there on uh, New Year evening? Yeah. You celebrated yeah. there? Yeah. We have a, a friend who is Italian and his girlfriend is Bulgarian, same couple as us, so it's uh, it's fun. And it's been a long time that they were saying, you should come since they bought the apartment at Nikki Beach, the residence. Mm -hmm. And uh, they always say, you should come visit us, you should come visit us, and we never found the time. So now we see the opening around New Year's and uh, yeah. It's better late than never, you yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah exactly. better late than ever, yeah. And it's really comfort since um, there is a direct flight from Sofia. So we say, okay, let's go, and we left. <laughs> so where, where do you live most of the time? Which city? Where are you based? I live between Italy and Bulgaria, and uh, we are based in Rieti, which is a city around 60 kilometers from Rome. Mm -hmm. Really nice, quiet. Very green, very, very it's close very to the beautiful. sea. It's not, it's close to a mountain. They have their own mountain, like the same as we have Vitusha in Sofia. Uh -huh. And it's in the center, it's called even the Lombelico, the center point of uh, Italy. If you divide Italy, if you put two lines in Italy, it's going to be the central point. By the way, you have a little bit of an Italian accent. I don't yeah? Know. yeah? Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> <laughs> I spent too much time with Italians. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, how many years are you together with your husband? Uh, we're together since 2009, so it's it's almost 11 years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're married since 2013. Married. It's gonna be the seventh year that we're married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Long time, long time, but it, it passed so fast. Uh, so, I was thinking about sports in general and specifically about athletics. I mean, how does it help to have a partner or a husband, you know, from, from the same kind of sport? Like, what do you think? I think at certain point is, uh, it's very important because if your if your partner doesn't understand you if he doesn't understand what you're doing that it's it can happen easily you don't get the support you need from him and for me the fact that my husband was a professional sprinter when we met mm -hmm. and that he trained with the same coach that I train after with he's been through all these things all this process and he helped me because he knew exactly what I have to do Who runs this faster? was you uh, or him? Not he, him. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know these jokes, yeah, that uh, nobody could catch me. Yeah, he's actually faster than uh, me. He's so the he guy who can catch me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's, I think it's very important. Yeah, I think in general it's very important that you receive the, the support from your mm -hmm. partner in anything that you do. But if it's from the same, same thing, let's say, uh, it's even easier. Mm -hmm. So Yvette Lalova, the fastest sprinter of uh, non-African descent, that's correct? Yeah, together with uh, Irina no, Rivalova. No, let's forget Irina, okay. let's forget. Okay. We have Yvette <laughs> Lalo. <laughs> yeah. No, I think Irina, Irina was much, uh, uh, I think it was much before you, like, yeah. I mean, you're the most yeah. recent. Yeah, uh, Irina was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, yeah, she's an amazing sprinter. And by the time I ran this time, I think it was like number six or seven in the all-time list, and now it's probably outside of top 10. I mean, mm -hmm. so many girls run fast times in, in the last decade. Let's let's talk about Dubai, about sports. How do you see sports, sprinting, running? How do you see Dubai in this aspect? Do you know anything well, about uh, the athletes or the facilities here? I can see the sports here, yeah. I, I visited this, the Dubai sports city yesterday at the athletic track. The, the gyms there, the facilities, they are amazing. Also, Dubai hosted the World Paralympic Championships yes, yes, in October. Yes, yes, so, year. I think the sport is really moving here, especially track and field, and uh, this is really great. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how about life? How about fun? What, uh, what have uh, you seen here this time, <laughs> last time? What did you do? We went yesterday for a dinner under the Burj Khalifa, and uh, I'm I'm really 
in pressed from this building Should from the top not under I know I know but we had a few days only and I couldn't decide which of the deals I want to, to take to go to the top if we should take the one with the lunch and dinner or the other one in the bar and at the end we decided that we're coming back definitely but you know as an athlete this is one of the toughest things that you never have enough time you don't have the possibility to to enjoy the places like a tourist because uh -huh. you always have to train so I trained I trained on 31st of December I did training in 1st of January I trained on 2nd on 3rd and um, even if you have to cut a little bit the volume of training in a way that you don't get too tired so you still have time to enjoy whatever you are it's a tough balance you know it's a mm. tough balance because you you should never stop training for for more than a day or two how long is your training usually my training is is around two maximum three hours but it's maximum the, three hours yeah i mean I, i do three hours total yeah. in a week well you know? <laughs> it's it's not it's not that long but it's the it's intensive it's mm. intensive sometimes you 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 can do just some 60s or 100 meters mm -hmm. but the speed can really make you tired for two three days mm -hmm. do you have a six pack now uh Or when was the last yes. time you had a six pack? <laughs> I always have a six pack, <laughs> ah. I guess. <laughs> uh -huh, very good. Very I good. eat some bread here, but uh, yeah, I hopefully still have my six pack. Yeah, uh -huh. I don't eat sugar. So really, this helps no me. sugar. No sugar. I don't. It's one of the pleasures in life, they say at least. I know, but I never really enjoyed it, so I decided uh, that it's not necessary. That it's one of the things that I'm going to cut out of my life. So I'm trying to take as less as possible sugar, minimum. Mm -hmm. who, who does the cooking at home? You or uh, the husband? Uh, me, me. Uh, It's okay. mostly me. No, and, because uh, Italians are good in cooking, yeah. that's why I'm well, asking. He cooked in the beginning, after we ah, met. To impress you? Of course, to impress me and everything. He cooked amazing, amazing meals, amazing pasta. So I fall in love and uh, then I don't know what happened. Places, <laughs> places switched, yeah. and. Uh, No, I'm kidding. It's mostly because I'm training in the morning and uh, my day kinds of finish in the early afternoon. Mm -hmm. And he's a physio and he works sometimes in late until 8 o'clock, let's say, 9, which is not late here. I know that people go mm -hmm. out for dinner at 9, 10 here. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, it's easier. It, it's easier for me to organize and uh, prepare dinner. I love to cook. Mm -hmm. I love to cook and living, uh, having an Italian husband, it's a, it's a great thing. Yes, yes. Yeah, definitely. yeah. Okay. He doesn't like uh, so many things, so, you know, I have to keep my level high. Uh-huh. So, what about um, after sports? I don't know, when, when you finish uh, sports, your career, what's, uh, what's, what do you have in mind? Well, I'm just planning and I'm thinking about this because um, I'll be 36 this year so it's it's the Olympic year it's one of the mm. most important of my career of my life but I'm always thinking about after and I'm always trying to do parallel things at the same time because um, track is really hard athletics is really hard there's so many talented people coming out all the time so it's it's almost impossible to stay at the top and uh, I always enjoy to follow my other interests so Now I'm following them. I have my kids' school, the Vetlanova Sprint Academy in Bulgaria, mm -hmm. where more than 100 kids are training track and field, having fun, trying to be healthy. And this is one of my main goals, let's say. To We have to open some kind of business here in Dubai. I don't know. We need to come up with some idea. Yes, yes. I have many ideas, I have many ideas, I still don't have the time being a full-time athlete, but uh, yeah, yeah, the time will, will come and uh, I'm full of ideas, which is good, because I think one of the hardest things is when, when track ends, and the worst thing, it, it, it can end anytime. I mean, I had a big injury, I broke my femur many years ago, and then I, I see how from one day to another... You can be nobody in what you're doing. So when when did you? How did you break your leg? Uh, warming up at the competition. 
So it at, was, at, uh, the, at the actual Olympics? At the or? same place, one year after. It was a Cicliteria meeting uh -huh. in Athens, yeah. So it was the, the Olympic Stadium, again, my favorite place in the whole world. And uh, so you were warming up and you broke yeah. your leg during the warm-up. Yeah, because I was I was avoiding another athlete running in front of me and I fell down. So it's somebody else's fault. I don't want to think like <laughs> that way. Yeah. I mean uh, that's the easiest thing to blame somebody else, but no. I just I just accept it. Yvette, you've been four times at the Olympics, right? Yeah. Which Olympics? Which year? Athens 2004, Beijing 2008, London 2012, and Rio 2016. So you haven't skipped anything? I haven't skipped anything, and uh, hopefully now this year, 2020, I'll be at the Tokyo Olympics. I have the qualification times in two events, the 100 and the 200 meters. So I only have to stay healthy, train, really really good and uh, get there you know I want to ask you I was thinking of uh, getting a passport there is this very small country with like I don't know 20,000 people I was thinking of getting a passport and these guys they have an allocation in the Olympics in certain sports yeah so I was thinking in case they give me the nationality because I'm a relatively can, athletic guy. You can compete. So I was thinking what kind of sport I could do that I could least embarrass myself. Because you have like swimming, I don't know yeah. how many meters, you have running 100 meters yeah. and there's two, three other sports. Well, usually it's the 100 meters that they choose. We've the running. Seen, yeah, we've seen some cases that were really funny. I'm sorry, with, I'm saying this with all the respect to the athletes, but... Uh, I remember it was maybe London, there was like a uh, 120 kilos guy who ran in the 100 meters. But it's, it's cool because this is the idea of the Olympics, you know, that all the countries, everybody should be there. You know, in the track and field, there are more countries participating in the big championships than the United Nations. I think there are like 210 or 12 countries participating almost every year in the championships. Okay, so let's say you did 11.10 uh, seconds. What's what's your uh, your best? Oh, in the 100, it's 10.77. 10.77. Yeah. In the 100. So a person like me, not very athletic. I mean, kind of athletic. How how much do you think I could do? Well, you are tall. So it's a problem or no? No, no, it's oh. a good thing. Sometimes it makes you slower. Okay. Because you know that was the thing with Usain Bolt that um, he was tall and fast. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. You never trained? You go to the gym? Uh, yeah, I do some gym, and I was playing football before. So okay, oh. so you have you have some qualities. Let's say. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so let's say maybe. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you, you can run 12 seconds without training. 12 seconds? Training. Really? Yeah, if you train, no. how, old, how old are you, sorry for uh, the 30, question. 30, 30. So, it's a little late to start training now. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> for the speed, you know, it's not the, the best thing to start at 30. Okay. But uh, let's say you can drop to 11 something. No, no way. Okay. I haven't thought about it, but <laughs> no, that's if I get the passport. But the thing is, they asked me to um, hand over my existing nationality, yeah. so I said, No, I'm not going to okay. keep it, you know. Otherwise, I would take it because it's small country, there's no competition, especially if you're close with the presidents that's, and all yeah, that. There's no yeah. problem. That's amazing. I imagine seeing you there at the 100 meters at the Olympics, like, Hey, <laughs> and you know how many people are trying really hard, and at the end, they don't get there for one cent of the second or, or one centimeter or something, you know, because the, as I said, the, the qualifying times and, and marks are very tough now, very high. So at the end, you are going to beat someone who, who can be actually there. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah.